All right, Bashman here. I'm Facebook living right here because uh, I'm still trying to figure out an app that can let me rotate or flip my camera around while I'm recording video. It let me do it on Facebook app, but not here. Um, just because I want to bring people some actually good footage. Now, um, for those who don't really know me too well, which I'm sure this video will reach some people who really don't know me like that, I'm just a train rider. I do stuff like this, ride trains. And I'm going to be prepping for YouTube, which I don't do YouTube. I don't really like YouTube too much, but I'm going to like it now. Anywho, one cool thing is I can rotate the camera around. Ha ha. Now, I usually don't like looking at myself and I, uh, I'm like shy and bashful. So it's usually hard for me to do videos like this because I have social anxiety. Anywho, flip the camera back around. This train just was stopped here. It only stopped here for like five, like six minutes or so. Um, and it's heading toward uh, uh, El Paso, Pecos, Fort Dallas, Fort Worth area. And we're not heading that way. We're heading the other way. However, where we're at, at this spot right here, it's you can go east and west. We're in Tucson. But enough about what I'm doing. Uh, shoestring passed away. Caught the westbound. And, sorry, the glare. Uh, shoestring, 10 years ago, shoestring had uh, how we met. Uh, let me get this glare out the way. <laughs> glare problems. How me and Shoestring met, he had hit me up. I didn't know who he was at first. He messaged me. He said, hey, I see you riding. Uh, could you meet me somewhere? And I'm, uh, he just wanted to have a talk with me. I'm like, sure, where? I was probably in Oregon somewhere at the time. He said, meet me in Shreveport. So I get all the way to Shreveport and I meet him. And uh, back then we just had private Facebook groups, like crew change groups for just private for Facebook. Not many people was allowed in. It was just only for train riders only. Well, uh, he told me 10 years ago, he's like, Baz, you should start a YouTube. He said, 10 years ago, he said, Baz, you might make some money or anything. People would love to see your adventures. You should start a YouTube. So I looked at Shoestring. I said, man, you crazy old man. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to start no YouTube. Anywho, uh, back then I felt like I didn't want to exploit our subculture. I didn't want to, how you say, I guess make money off of my lifestyle and the different matters since I can't explain it. Uh, but anywho, just recently, uh, like a couple years ago, 2021, actually, uh, me and Shoestring was running for Hobo King. Now, Shoestring was who I voted for, who I would have voted for if I had a vote. In the matter of sense, he should have been Hobo King. But Shoestring and Britt Iowa came to me and said, hey, Baz, again, you should start a YouTube. And I, I was like, Shoestring, only way I'll start a YouTube if I get elected Hobo King or some shit like that. Uh, maybe I'll start a YouTube. I know you've been asking me for 10 years to start a YouTube. Maybe I'll start a YouTube. And uh, sure enough, shit, I get elected Hobo King. <laughs> So I was like, shoestring, I will, I will. I kept procrastinating and procrastinating it. I will, I will. I already got something to start set up. I just don't use it as much. So what I'm gonna do is try to take, just post what I can't hear first on Facebook, and then I'll probably transfer to YouTube a little bit later. However, people want to actually see videos and see like me doing stuff and like, I'm kind of, like, like, not necessarily. I'm kind of camera shy in the matter of sense. I can't, I can't, like, I don't feel comfortable being seen more than a minute. To where all my videos are usually just a minute and a half long, and I, I start, I get social anxiety and stuff like that. So I'm getting over my personal 
interpersonal like fear I guess of uh, making videos I should start doing this more often and I, uh, I had made a Facebook post about what content I should be putting in these videos and a lot of good good ideas was was presented to me so I guess I can make separate videos with uh with different ideas today uh here's an idea the idea today is uh something for shoestring and I got it I got an idea I'm about to get it now I'm gonna flip the camera around there's another train it's actually heading in our direction, but it's like on the, the wrong track right now. Anywho, let's see, working. Uh, I got shoelaces. Regular shoelaces. And I figured if uh, people had the time in remembrance of shoestring, Get a shoelace. This is a regular shoelace. That's in shoestring. And you want to? Uh, yeah, he. I get. He found the shoestring right there, and tied to like the fence, a little tree. Put it next to. Put a hop out in remembrance of shoestring. Just tie it like a shoelace. Or, tie it like a shoelace. Yeah, in remembrance of shoestring. Something around the hop out. Your nearest hop out. So, give me a second. You mind holding the camera while when you get done with that? Yeah, I'm trying to be cool. This is in this is in recording. This is in remembrance of shoestring. This is a simple tie. There. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. check those. Mm -hmm. Now it'd be cool if a bunch of places just get filled up with a bunch of shoestrings for a tribute to shoestring. Uh, Shoestring was a cancer. Just like me, we both had July birthdays. So we kind of had a lot in like personality in common in a matter of sense where well, we clicked and vibed together. Uh, well, after we first, I'm sorry, all these glares, I'm, I'm black, I just, this camera try to hold me. Uh, sh me and Shoestring stayed in touch over the last 10 years and I didn't know how cool he was or how popular he was back then um, until a little bit later on that here's this guy like he got about twice the many trains twice the many miles that I ever been on uh, looking like looking at me like found me interesting and stuff like that I, I didn't think I was cool enough to be shoestring like friend cool or some shit anywho uh, It's starting to get speechless. What it is is that I was thinking about shoestring just now and like figuring out how to tell like some of the stories that what we've been through. So like we spent Christmas together and road trains and done a bunch of different stuff. Uh, so he's, he's forever going to be in my heart. Forever, like I always have a spot for him in my heart. Uh, I was I was always going to feel good for him. Anywho, uh, since this video has to be actually video appropriate and has to uh, at least be a video, what I can do is get a video of what I'm packing and uh, like show everybody what I'm like, what all I've got, what I'm traveling with, how does this. 2021 Hobo King travel. What do he What do he bring with him? Type shit. Uh, now, 
back on Street Stream. There's uh, supposed to be like memorials going on. A lot of it's orchestrated with his personal family. And he's pro tip that he's gonna be buried in uh, his ashes in Britt, Iowa. I heard there, there was news on that, that uh, he's, he's gonna be buried next to the hobo kings and the, the past hobo kings and queens that fallen, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's another story. Me and Shoestring, we were somewhere in Maryland, and I asked Shoestring, I asked a lot of people this question, I asked almost everybody this question. Where do you gonna go when you die? And I'm just sitting there like just being real with Shoestring. I'm like, Shoestring, you're not gonna live forever. Where do you think you're gonna go when you die? And he said, uh, he's gonna go traveling. And I'm like, how you gonna go like spirit traveling? And <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm gonna go spirit traveling. He's gonna, like, almost in a way, he wants to go ride trains with all the, the fallen, like the, 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 uh, the hobo kings and queens that uh, passed away. He wanted to go ride with them spiritually. Almost in a way, like, he still wanted to travel. He's gonna ride spirit trains. So I was like, shoestring, out of all the things that you can think of to, to wonder what happens he wanted to actually still travel, just ride trains. Sorry about the glare. I can't, I can't look at the camera. I can't look at myself. So I have a hard time looking at myself. Uh, I always look away. I'm like stare off his face or whatever. Uh, anywho, he said uh, he wanted to be buried next, uh, next to the hobo kings and queens in Britt, Iowa. And I thought that was cool. Uh, so when we was in Britt, Iowa together, he took a find of the graveyard. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of fall. I'm just going to say it's a lot of us that passed away. And they're all sticking together. And it's nice. It's done in Britt, Iowa. The, gra the grave site in Britt, Iowa is, is awesome. Uh, it'd be a, it'd like, that'd be an honor for to be buried next to hobo kings and queens. Uh, now, I knew that back then I was very special for Shoestring. When he's telling me about how he wanted to be buried in Britt, Iowa, how he wanted to go ride trains with all of like the fallen, the past previous hobo kings and queens. And, and uh, so when we was at Britt together, I knew it meant a lot to him. Uh, it, it meant a lot to him for him to get elected hobo king. I, it, it, would, it would just that would make his day that would make his like that would complete his life type shit so when I was in Britt, Iowa the whole intention was I'm expecting Shoestring to, to get elected Hobo King and my little job was just to like see it, see him through it and make sure like like he get his he can talk to people cause Shoestring some uh he tells me all the time, he doesn't mind doing the video. He just don't want to be like having people all up in his face talking to him and stuff like that. That's where I come in at. Uh, and I just, he doesn't want all that, uh, almost in a way, that, it, that attention like that. I can't explain it. To where shoestring, he's not going to, how you say, be the first one to come to you, I guess. And, and uh, well, I guess he was the first one to come to me. How to put this? He's very selective, like who he, like who he, he, like hangs around, hangs around like that. And how he's a cancer, he shows up because it's, see, too many people come around him sometimes and overwhelm him at the same time to where you can't handle that. Uh, and I don't see I'm a, I'm a, how, where I'm going with this. Pretty much, I feel honored, I guess, special that like he he chose me as a friend. I guess, I guess that's the best way to put it. He chose me as a friend. Uh, when I I. I and not only chose me as a friend, he trusted me 
for some reason. Like, I'm a very trustworthy guy, but he trusted me. Uh, so that was a good thing. And it seemed like... It, like, I'm, I'm just, just ended with that part. It was, it was an honor to be a part of Shoestring's life. He was a great man. I still recommend everybody put the whole shoelace up in remembrance of Shoestring. Just somewhere near to hop out, tied to a branch or tree for remembrance of Shoestring. Just something tied up. Now, here in a little bit, I'm going to show you how ridiculous this shit is. Here's my stuff. My pack, it opens up a lot. And my food bag, and that's all like my food bag. I'm gonna do a quick bomb explosion and then just stick it all back in. Go through some of my stuff to where y'all see what I'm like working with in order as in traveling wise. And everything I would probably suggest is kids don't do this at home. Like, ha! I mean, not at home. I mean, don't do this. Just don't do, don't do what I do, I guess. I'm just terrible. I'm still learning. So this bridge we're under, we're, I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Oh shit, one more thing. I forgot to tell y'all. Hold on, one more thing. The other day, sorry for all this question, but the other day I had brought over a bunch of noodles, a bunch of food, like these kind of noodles. I brought over a bunch of noodles and some macaroni and cheese and some fruit and it's all gone. It makes me super happy to see food that that uh, I leave at Hop Out so I bring over to like for other people gets used here under this bridge right here. So yeah, that made my that's another thing that made my day today. Coming back and seeing that the all the food that I left here the other day was gone. That mean at least like I feel comfortable that somebody you know is not starving. So that's a good thing. Uh, it's going to be I guess I'll call it my first of my first actual uh, I guess a video actual video I know it's terrible now because all my angles are just either looking at my face or looking under this bridge I would love to have like a nice nice phone or a better camera or a camera somebody hold the camera for me I just can't look at myself. I can't see myself. It's like I'm a vampire or some shit. I can't do the mirrors and stuff like that. <laughs> I just can't look at myself. But anywho, uh, back in the day, a little pre-story about this. Each one of these pillars, pillar there, that pillar, they was filled with signatures or, or tags, filled with train tags these pillars all the way from this right here this pillar all the way down the whole the wall just covered in in train tags and of course over the years they just paint over them paint over it's, it's pretty sad to see like years and years of years of like like a bunch of people from all over the place put their their tag on something anything the wall and Shows to show how many people been through there did that to just cover it up and get rid of it. It's, it's kind of a disgrace. It's, it's pretty terrible because that's sentimental too. Uh, anywho, they're all painted over. You wouldn't you wouldn't know if anybody came through here. And another thing about like these same hopouts is these gates. All these gates are wired shut. I do a quick walkthrough before I do a bum explosion. So, if I wanted to get on this other side of this gate, last time I was here, I spent like three, four hours, and I made this hole right here, like way bigger. And I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get out this hole. So last time I was here, I, I could, if, but every time I come back, this right here is going on. They're, they're infamous with this, to where they were just covering up hole after hole after hole. Just just for a short walk down here, you can see how many attempts I'm gonna show you that we try our ass off to make a way to get to the tracks and put in a lot of effort to get to the other side just for it to just 
get covered up, I guess, or closed down, shut down, whatever you want to call it. But anywho, uh, walking along this fence line, I'm about to show you to where you can go from the train, but then they cover, they, I, I'll show you. Because I don't like going far. I don't want to go that far just to get on my train. I just, me, the way I ride, I want to be like right there on to like down there on the train or next to the train as close as i can get to it to where whenever i want to when the train pulls up i want to be right there i don't want to like have to uh like cross two streets and run through half a jungle just to get to a train so anywho back on the hose in the fence there's oh there's something new happened actually about hose in the fence Apparently, a little bit further down, half the fence is just tore down. Like somebody just had enough of putting holes in it and took the whole fence down. That whoever did that shit, I admire that guy. He, he deserves an award, a reward, because you don't know you no longer have to deal with holes like this in the fence, to where they constantly getting recovered back up. This one, it seems, well, it could be nice. But anywho, they're, they're further down. We're going to go through another hole on the other side. The one we're going to get on the train. Now, I can jump a fence, but I got a tour rotator cuff. I can't raise my left arm up. You know, my whole shoulder just shut down, come out of place. Hurt like a motherfucker. To where I can still hop a fence. I just, like, I don't like it. Uh, I'm getting old and I don't want to hop fences anymore. I don't. I just want to go through the fence. <laughs> no more hopping fences through the fence. Uh, that'd be cool. Now I'm gonna show you that hole. There's there's not many on this strip, on this part particular part, but there's a bunch over here on this other side. Those are the two main holes that you still like get through. I don't have a, um, they call, like, sorry, but I stutter and, and sometimes it's hard for me to get words out. But some bolt cutters, bolt, bolt cutter, cutters. I need some bolt cutters. It's a small one, so if anybody want to donate or bless me with some bolt cutters, I, I rest assured. There'd be a lot of holes somewhere. Anywho, now back on this side, it's like they added a second fence. So there's a fence, the first fence, and then there's this second fence right here. That ain't no joke. So there's double fence to where Hold on. Like this right here. You can't hardly see it because the camera. But like there's one. I'm going to see if I can count. Keep count. Start from right here. There's one. Two. Just in this short area. Three. Four. There was another one. Five. Just put a second fence in, you probably, like, they didn't really have to cover up the first one, or, like, snap up the first one. Like, even this one, they don't need to, you don't really need to seal them if you got a whole second fence right there to stop it. To where back in then, there used to be a bonfire over, bonfires over here, group of people over there, over here. Like, we had it was like at least a good 18 to 20 people plus just partying their asses off down here years ago now you can't find two people you'll probably find a roamer every now and then so it ain't the same it's it's not the same at all i hope i can get better videos in the future than me running my mouth so here come me bum exploding real quick and uh shoestring travel with a bucket me I admire that because I can't travel with a bucket. Uh, 
because I don't like carrying. I don't like holding, holding like stuff. I don't like, like carrying something. I like to be hands free. However, I carry my food bag, and it's like a bucket. Watch, I can't sit on that. I might need to start carrying a bucket for shoestring. I might just, just to. I want to see how how different my life would be if I had a bucket uh, to carry around a bucket. Now, here we go with the Bassman Bum Explosion. Sorry, I'm just trying to like make any kind of video right now with the resources I have. I'm gonna need to download uh, like video editors and I need to like practice like looking in the looking in the camera or looking at myself. I gotta practice like seeing myself and being okay with it. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> it sounds weird. It's, it's, I have a phobia of of how I look, and I can't explain it. To where, yeah, I, I look away. I can't stare. I can't stare people in the face or in the eyes for long periods of time because I feel like I'm looking down in their soul type stuff. Uh, to where, sorry about the the camera footage, but anywho. Uh, here's my pack and I got ooh, look that's a, wow it's probably good to check your pack because you never know when you have like a four day old sandwich <laughs> and a cigarette stashed somewhere <laughs> Jesus I already opened up the first thing <laughs> and it's like what alright so I got my tobacco I got glue. I got a project. Oh, there's a project I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna tell y'all about it later. I need this glue for. Um, it's it's doing shoes. I just got some new shoes. They're cheap. I always buy the same cheap twelve dollar pair of shoes and modify them. It's the cheapest way I can have the most comfortable things on my feet by adding adding stuff to it. Anywho. Really not much in here, but, oh shit, I gotta pay attention to the camera. Uh, I got kicked down a ton of hand warmers. See, I'm, my, my camera angle's terrible. Hand warmers, that I'm, it's getting hot, now I don't really need them as much. So, actually, I could, sorry about my angles. I'm like looking different, like looking away from my phone. So actually, I can leave these here, most of these here. Just I mean, even though it's probably getting warmed up, they're hand warmers. Somebody would love them. All right, cool. I'd rather leave stuff at the hop out, like something someone can use at the hop out, than like just throw it away or some shit. Anywho, there's. So I got a bunch for myself. All right, next up, in Baz's surprise pack, I got a flashlight. Now this bag right here, look how big that is. It's not even big, but it's it's big for what it does. It's all filled with cords and portables so if I reach down in there and grab a hand there's portables sorry about my angles so this bag is filled with a bunch of portable chargers I carry a bunch of battery on me I, I keep them, them things on me them packs on me actually I'm hooked up to one now so I probably got like six seven portables portable chargers portables are important uh, Cell phones are important. That way you can call 911 or whatever the case may be. And the reason why I say call 911 because you don't call the cops. Only in case of emergency. <laughs> and sometimes it'd be an emergency to where you might have to call somebody. If not the cops, at least a friend. Call your mom. Call a fr like a neighbor or somebody. At least call somebody. You'll be able to call somebody. And if you can't call nobody or if you lost or whatever need help cell phones just they just come in handy you ain't got google maps too back to what i was doing All right now dumping out my pack i got a the most ridiculous size tarp 
not like super big, but it's really big. It's too big for what I'm doing. Now this is all tarp to where people are wondering like bats, you know, every time I look at like, they call them like, I don't know if it's called shanty home or something, but uh, it, it's embarrassing for me to set up a tent or set up like put my tarps up and stuff. I guess I'm too lazy or just just don't have just don't want to or something to where I'm fine with just laying the tarp down, getting in like a burrito, throwing that bitch on top of me, bust my phone out in fetal position the rain away. I'm totally okay with fetal position rain away to where that's I like I'm okay with that big tarp. Here's my sleeping bag. It's, it, I got me a I just got this bag not too long ago. I needed something small because my other bag was ridiculous. It's like one of those cheap Walmart, like a 50 or 40 degree bag or some shit to where just with like the, the least you can do. And I'm okay with that. I just layer up. So it gets cold as fuck at night. However, this is my summer bag and it's so small I can fit it in my pack. And if it gets real cold, I just wear my coat and then get in the bag. I'm okay with that. I have a raincoat. Now check this out. These are like the second most important thing in my pack. I keep I keep them things on me. This is a uh, baby wipes. It's like let me see one two three four about five packs of baby wipes in here. I, I got antibacterial wipes and other baby wipes. Uh, some of them, oh, here's another thing. Check this out. I know this video is going to be trash. That's why I don't like re-watching <laughs> re my videos. I don't like, I don't like looking at myself. Uh, anywho, um, uh, what I was saying about, well, with baby wipes, is that if you soak baby wipes in, with witch hazel, soak them in witch hazel, and you can keep your, your genitals and your privates and your hootangs and stuff clean. If you soak it in peroxide, it keeps you from getting yeast infections and, and uh, like, I'm just way, keeping your, your undercarriage is A1. I use baby wipes. I don't like toilet paper. I hate this glare. Here we go. I don't like toilet paper because toilet paper sucks, so I, I, I stick with just moisted baby wipes. Keep myself clean. And I stay clean. You keep me from getting like other shit. I got cloth material. This is Jack Skeleton cloth. That's gonna go with the glue. I'm gonna tell you about the shoe project. I always like making hats and shoes and stuff. All right. I have. Sorry about my camera angles. I have a bag. Another bag, and it has all my. Sorry about my camera angles. Sharpies So I got sharpies for days and some batteries In this bag that just holds my sharpies. I got some magic the gathering cards Just in case somebody wants to get down on some magic they probably gonna collect dust instead and then I have My sewing bag now see another thing I discovered You know back in when I first started traveling the hype was dental floss. So everybody was like, get dental floss, dental floss. That's, that, that, that works so much better than sewing needle thread type shit. Sewing thread. Well, it does. However, over the years of dental floss, if you wash your clothes too much and you go through a bunch of shit, sorry about my camera angles. If you go through a bunch of shit, that dental floss like starts to, I don't know what they call it, uh, not necessarily mold or mildew, but decay, or it starts to go bad and and thread out. However, if you use, let me see, I can't see myself. This is why I don't do this in dark. Fishing line. If you use fishing line, like like four pound fishing line, the smallest, thinnest fishing line. There you go. It's like waterproof sewing thread that 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 lasts way longer than dental floss. I learned that. Not that long ago, actually, out here on my travels. So, I never had nothing more better sewing with than four pound 
fishing line. The smallest fishing line you can get. It's the best you it's like the best sewing thread. So where here's my sewing sewing bag. I keep seven hundred yards. You know, seven hundred yards is a lot of freaking yards. And you it's a lot more than what they can hold in a dental floss. For so for the same price as dental floss, you can get four pound fishing line that's real thin and it can go through the sewing needles to where you can sew with it and it works way better. The best I ever had. So here's my sewing. I keep tape and needles, sewing needles. So now so far I went through tarp. Tarp is usually a good go-to when when it comes to needing, like how you say, something useful to travel, like to as to take in your pack, grab a tarp. A tarps always get like tarps. I, I'm a, I can't stress it enough. Tarps. <laughs> travel with a tarp. It, it'll, it'll make a huge difference. And then second thing, your bag, something to sleep in, a little blanket, sleeping bag, cover. I don't care how you do it. Which way, something to put over your shoulder at night. And however, I got my, what they call credit cards, which that would be my Sharpies. Now, Sharpies are like, I guess you call it credit cards or whatever you write. You write something on a piece of cardboard and money starts coming in because of kindness of people hearts that that actually care about us kicking us down whatever they can to help support us um to where sometimes people like me have social anxiety and people don't realize that i have social anxiety i don't mind talking to people and i'm a great communication once i started communi like communicating with somebody but i have social anxiety to where i can't crack sprange is what they call it. Like, it crack spanging is, I, 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 it's hard for me to just walk up and talk to people, random people, to where I always had to put something on the sign and sit in the corner somewhere because I, I can't talk to people just right off. But if somebody say something to me, then we'll be there, we'll have like best conversation, best friends type stuff. So now, I have another bag, and it's uh, in this bag. I'm going to show you why this bag is like this. One thing on the road is packs get thrown in lakes, it thunderstorms, people fall in drenches, people get wet, shit gets wet. Now, when when you're wet, it's just not fun. When you're wet, everything sucks, and when you're wet, and when everything you got is wet. And you ain't got nothing put on dry, it sucks. To where I, I waterproof my socks in my bag type shit. So I put them in a bag. And it's, hold on, I can't, this is so hard to do this. Recording, holding the phone. I don't like this. I need a GoPro or something. I suck at it. I'm trying to show this. This is terrible. A bag inside of a bag, inside of plastic bags. So I keep my socks wrapped in double plastic double plastic bags a plastic bag on a plastic bag just in case I fall in a drench my pack get thrown in the lake I run into a thunderstorm just in case something happened I have dry socks at least so that's what the reason why oh and not only I have a double bag it's in a ziploc bag so those are my socks I, sh I go through all this trouble just to protect my socks uh, because there's been plenty of times where me and my cheap shoes and, and everything is wet and I get it rained on and I'm, my whole pack soaked and I used to learn, I learned from my lessons of not having dry socks. Gotta have dry socks. Anywho, so let's see what else I have. Now, that's pretty much, oh yeah, I have a, oh here we go, I would say a little hygiene bag, my last bag in this bag, and it's just typical hygiene stuff, soap, toothbrush, whatnots, 
medical and hygiene. So I have medical and hygiene bag, have tarp, sleeping bag, sewing kit, baby wipes for days. I, I keep them wipes on deck, dry socks, tobacco, and that's like the bit like the bare minimum that's in the matter of sense of what all I need to travel I don't really need much I got too much already to where it don't, it don't require me much to survive out here but as long as I got a little sewing kit some baby wipes I finna share my food bags was ridiculous that's the shebanger and I got some like something to put over my shoulder at night I'm good now the shebanger right now is this heavy dude my food bag it, oh, oh! Actually, let me finish this up. So that was my bum exploding in that bag, and I have a a tent. So I have a tent, and I have that stuff. It weighs the uh, my electronic bag with all the portables. This is what weighs a lot, and that tarp weighs a lot. But on the food bag, dang, I can't do this. Like hold the camera. I'm doing it, but like it's just sloppy. Uh, my food bag is, is I ain't gonna say it's, I'm blessed I'm just gonna say it like that I'm blessed to have as much food as I do I'm just gonna kinda like dump it and put it back in not go through it too hard have her my, my road food is snacks to where all you're gonna see is a bunch of stuff like Rice Krispie Treats a bunch of granola bars you got little stuff like this swimming in that kind of stuff I have a couple of some pop tarts and this bag right here is nothing but tuna and it's like uh, at least I would say probably more than 10 maybe I'm just gonna open it up I can't do this and look it's a bunch of tuna packets flat tuna packets yeah all this it's a bag of a lot of them a lot of tuna uh i have water my nuts and i always keep a bag see my baby wipes i always keep baby wipes close by even in my food bag just because uh I'm, I, I do my baby wipes and uh so i have a bunch of little can't do the camera any snacks so i got a candy so pretty much when I'm on the train, I snack on the train. This is terrible video. I know it's getting dark. You ain't gonna be able to see me. Wrong time with the video. Look look how hot it is. I'm sweating. I got on all this black. Whew. Anywho, it's warm here in Tucson. It got up to like 90 degrees. It was 98 degrees in Cheryl's car when we got over here. Thanks to Cheryl. She housed us up here while we was in Tucson. That's good to her. Thanks, she's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's a hot one out. Now, hopefully I, I kind of stalled y'all and I kind of prolonged this video as long as I can. It's just an intro and a tribute to Shoestring on like more videos to come. Because in the future I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff. Uh, and and uh, going over like some a lot of the tips that people suggested to me. Uh, what what goes on in videos tell short stories do a few things even put on some skits uh, right now it's practice on me looking at myself in good camera angles and I'm still working on that anywho uh, rest in peace shoestring you was awesome and just in case name no one told you spirit yet today you hella amazing guy I'm gonna miss you. I'm really gonna miss you. I see a train coming. And, uh, you know what? On Facebook Live, I done bum exploded. And it'd be crazy if this was my train and I gotta pack up real quick while holding the phone on the camera when I can't look at myself. It's gonna be interesting to where my train might be here, so I might have to pack up real quick. That'd be cool to, to get a like a, a ride on video as it's happening. So bear with me. I guess uh, I don't see how long. I don't. I don't know if it tells how long I've been on this video. For.
Whew. I don't see. Well, whatever. I'm, I went to I went to college for multimedia technology, and now this new new stuff. I'm just I'm like I'm like our elders now. I just don't I just don't have the patience or just don't want to to try to figure it out and learn some of it about how to work these gadgets. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around. Anywho, so what it is is that see if I can point it out. Those headlights, yeah, those are actually headlights. That's how bright they are. You see how bright that is? Now let me see if I can get this on. Alright, hold on. I gotta scoot back over there. Those those are headlights. Those are train headlights. It's getting that time of night to where it looks like it stopped down there or it's posted up down there. Uh heading heading uh west. So we'll see about that one. I gotta pack up real quick. Now I'm not carrying much, it's just really heavy because of what I like what I have. What I use don't have as much as weed. <laughs> I can use some of that stuff. Now I'm kind of contemplating on how I'm gonna do this way while holding the phone. Because I can't show y'all good angles and be trying to pay attention to it at the same time. I'm not watching my phone and watch what I'm doing, I'm just watching what I'm doing and not watching my phone so yeah let me try this anywho we're heading west we're going toward colton next and uh then we're gonna head up to roseville same pattern done this right over 40 times over and over and over for the last 10 years probably more than that from dallas fort worth to colton la there to Roseville, Roseville up to Portland, Seattle, Tacoma, take the high line over to Chicago, and going down from there and just rinse and repeat, or just go from Chicago to like through PA to Selkirk. Like, it's not that much, you don't take much to do a lap around America, like, you can do a whole circle around America from like. Jacksonville, Florida, all the way to Los Angeles, from Los Angeles up to Seattle, Seattle all the way to like New York. You can do that. Pretty easy. Let's put my stuff back up. I have these Vina sausage can lids. Okay, what people don't know is, is that these can lids, if you, this is my project I'm doing with my shoes. With my shoes. I take insoles, and I get these can lids and they fit just right inside underneath my insoles to where it makes me stepping on ballast rocks not as hard, not as bad. I'm, I'm walking on clouds. And if I step on a nail or something like that, it's not gonna puncture me as, as like that because I got protection. So usually I add a few vinyl can, like just lids, put them in between two, two insoles or underneath your insole and you'd be surprised it makes a huge difference and when you out here walking on these ballast rocks without no boots on so i don't wear boots anymore uh, i do i do and don't i just i'd rather not um uh, i like to walk with like with just day walkers and and some insoles so this is not looking like our train it looks like it's gonna go to the auto facility in Colton. The, I forgot where they, they have all the cars. So no, it's not our train. We're here is because I was showing my road dog back in like He's only been traveling five years, so he has no idea how it used to be like six, seven years ago when we had a huge population out here and what, like how we used to do things. Now it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's not as much, not so much. However, 
this train is looking good again because there's the double stacks right there coming up. That's definitely culture. That's cool. So I don't, I don't, I don't believe that one should stop. If it did, it already did. So I'm back to putting my stuff up. I'm just making a long video uh, to see how see how much time I can tolerate myself trying to do a video when I don't like doing videos and see how well I can do. I still probably won't ever watch this. I don't like watching myself ever. Like, it's just it's weird. I have, I have some weird condition with me. I can't explain it. That kind of stuff. Uh, anywho, to where I'm, I'm in training, rookie. I'm a greenhorn at this video uh, making. I can edit it. I just can't had the social I just had to get rid of my social anxiety well it's finna get too dark out here see you won't be able to see me anymore this is why I had to do this during the day once you get a certain time of night cameras don't pick me up as well to where you might as well just hang it up I'm too dark too black to be out here at nighttime I gotta show my teeth. <laughs> I'm smiling, I was trying to smile. Show you how sometimes I can just disappear. Disappear right into the darkness. Anyway, I'm getting off this Facebook Live. Uh, I'm probably gonna post this to YouTube, and figure out how to do that. And, and it's like watching film. If you ever watch film, you can like look at it and see where you can critique yourself at. Signs for improvement. See where like you can do something different next time. So it's like watching film. I gotta watch film on myself and get over it and see how I can present better footage uh, to y'all next time. Uh, hopefully I can just get it straight to YouTube instead of having to do Facebook Live and like save the video so too dark for me now again uh, those who probably just tuned in I'm going to show this one more time a tribute to shoestring all, all I'm asking is put, put a shoestring somewhere near the hop out just put a shoestring somewhere tied to a little branch the fence pole put it somewhere just leave it on the ground near the hop out or shoestring it's not that much litter. We don't mind about the shoestring. To, to where it's in remembrance of shoestring. All right, bye everyone. I'm checking out of this one. Uh, I'm gonna put my stuff back and do the whole what train riders do best. Uh, and that's these three rules that I believe that our generation, my generation, kind of made kept it simple for us on trains about rules. However, the three rules that we, we have is rule number one, patience. You gotta have patience to be in this train riding game. You ain't got patience, you ain't gonna make it. Rule number one is have patience, patience. Rule number two is disappointment. So the second rule is disappointment. Expect disappointment. It's, everything is not going to work out your way how you want it go where you want it to go take you where you need to be some things some things just not you just expect disappointment rule number two rule number three trains will be trains trains won't be cats trains ain't dogs trains will be trains Almost in a way, trains are going to do train shit. Dogs do dog stuff. You know, people do people stuff. Cars do car shit. But trains do train shit. Trains will be trains. So, um, those are the three rules we have out here. Sovereign hour, everybody. I'm going to follow these three rules. And that way, I can just... 
be at peace and chill and understanding about what I'm getting, what I'm putting my, choose. this is what I choose to do, what, what I choose to do in my life, and that's ride trains. Alright, that's enough me talking. Deuces, through the roof.